Hey folks, welcome back to the You Want Pizzazz channel. Today we're going to be creating this double exposure nature effect in Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop. Right here I have a 2000 by 2000 pixel canvas and in the description below you will see links to some photos that I picked out here. I have a picture of a man, we got a mountain, and we got some birds. I'm gonna start by dragging my man onto the canvas here. I'm gonna press a little check mark. I'm gonna right click the file, rasterize the layer, and I'm gonna remove the background. Just like that. That's under properties here. And then I'm just gonna make this a regular layer by just converting it to a smart object. Right click and then rasterizing it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag my mountain in. Just like that, I'm gonna make it a little bigger so that it covers the entire man. Press okay. Now we're gonna figure out the placement here. So I'm going to first rasterize the layer and then I'm gonna drop the opacity just so I can see both layers at the same time. And then I'm gonna adjust the position until I'm happy with it. I think something like this is pretty cool. I'm gonna change the opacity back to 100. I'm going to rename this file to Mountain and I'm going to duplicate the file by right clicking and then selecting Duplicate Layer. I'm gonna hide both the layers select the man, and then we're gonna select the subject again. With one of the mountain layers visible, we're going to click the little selection tool here, right click, and select inverse. So now we're selecting all of the outside bits, and we're gonna hit delete. So we have a perfect outline of the man here. And then we're gonna activate the second mountain layer and select it. And I'm just going to select just the top here because we want this mountain edge to pop here. We're going to right click, select inverse and delete. So it should look something like this. And then we can actually remove the background on the mountain layer and it should just have the point here. So that is looking pretty good so far, I must say. When you're happy with the placement of the mountain, we're going to select both layers by holding down shift and clicking both layers. And I'm gonna right click and merge the layers into one layer like that. Now we're gonna have a bit of a fade out so we see a bit of the front of the face here. So we're gonna start off by making an adjustment layer, making sure that's selected here. And then we're gonna go into gradient. So if you hold down the paint bucket tool and we select gradient tool, we wanna go up here Click that arrow here and then select the first one under basics and then click and drag to kind of get that gradient look. You might want to start in the middle, click and drag so that we see a bit of the face. We can adjust with the eraser tool a little later. Make sure you get that gradient the way you want it to look. I think something like that is cool. What I might do is select the layer and then take my eraser tool. I'm going to adjust the settings here so that the hardness is very little and the size is big so that we have a bit of a blurred edge effect here. So I'm going to just remove some of the excess here. And then we're going to bring in our birds. So I'm going to just click, drag that in. And I'm going to rasterize that layer. And then I'm going to just take my magic wand tool and select the background and delete it just like that. I'll hit Command T to resize and that is Control T for PC users. And I'm going to resize this and put it on the edge here. You can see that there's a bit of white edges around the bird. So I'm going to quickly fix that by going to the eraser tool, holding it down and selecting background eraser tool. Now you want this second square here to be white. And then I'm just going to fix the edges here. Now we're gonna do that fade again with the birds. So I'm gonna again create an adjustment layer, go to the gradient and then click and drag to kind of fade those birds out. 
something like that. I think to make it a little more cohesive, we're gonna add a black and white filter to it. So I'm going to go into effects here, black and white, and then I'm gonna play with the curves for each layer. So we'll start with the birds. I'll click the bird layer, I'll click the effects and select curves. And then I'm gonna right click the layer and make it a clipping mask. And what that'll do is only adjust the layer below it. I'm just gonna make this a little more contrasty, make the birds pop a bit. And then I'm gonna do the same with the mountain curves, make it a clipping mask, then adjust it so that it's just a little more contrasty, a little more poppy. And then you might do the same with the man as well. And then one last thing I'm gonna fix is that you can kind of see the dark edges of the man below the mountain shape. So I'm just gonna click the man, take my regular eraser tool and just clean up the edges here. You might wanna adjust the background. So I'm just gonna double click it, go to gradient overlay. And then I'm gonna select here to look at the different options. Since we're going with a black and white theme, I'm gonna go into grays and there's a few different cool gradients here. You can always click one and adjust it. And there you have it folks, a cool double exposure nature photo. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe to the You Want Pizzazz channel for more videos. If you end up posting this on your Instagram or whatever, make sure to tag You Want Pizzazz because I would love to see what you create. I hope you have a fantastic day folks and I will see you in the next one. Bye!